What's up? Nothing much. Cool. Hello, this is Bruce Yaney. Today I'd like to show you an example of a whisper tube. It's able to carry sound over long distances with very little loss of energy. So, let's take a closer look. <laughs> so here's my whisper tube. It's an old vacuum hose. It's 35 feet long and it works really well. If we have one person talk in this side. Hello? Can you hear me now? The person on the opposite side can hear almost like they're standing next to each other. Hello? Can you hear me now? People that are along the tube, if they try and put it up to their ear to see if they can hear anything, should be able to hear it also. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Amy's class is cool. <laughs> Uh, what was that, John? <laughs> Missy Yandy's class is cool. <laughs> you hear me? Uh, we can hear you. Okay, cool. Anything else you want to say? Um, I like pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> now, why does this work so well? Well, it goes something like this. When sound is made in an open area, the compressional waves move out in all directions and the wave energy quickly diminishes as you get further away from that sound source. Now when the sound energy is directed inside the tube, all that energy is focused in the same direction so it ends up traveling for a much further distance before it dies out. Now one more place we can see this concept in action is a doctor's stethoscope. You put the earplugs in your ear, you put this on the heart, and the movement of the heart actually causes this diaphragm to move in and out slightly and that will then send sound waves up through the tubes allowing to hear what your heart is doing. <laughs> yes, there is a heart there. Now, if you don't have a stethoscope and you don't have a long uh, vacuum tube, you can try something a little bit simpler. Just take some paper and roll it up into a long tube, newspaper or scrap paper, and simply have one person hold it out and whisper the person at the other end will be able to hear it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.